first click on the awesome box to select all of the cells resize one column and resize one row so that it makes squares center center and then I'm going to make my one two and actually I want these to be a different font and a little bit bigger and I'm gonna get the fill square you notice that I've highlighted the one and the two and I'm gonna get the fill square and drag it to the right so I'm gonna make a very large table I'm gonna type one and two to go this way but I'm going to use the format painter so I'm gonna click on the formatting which has this particular font this particular size and I'm gonna click on paint format format painter and I'm gonna highlight and now they match so I've painted the formatting and I'm going to grab the fill down square and pull down so I can make a really big multiplication table and then I always start my formulas with an equal sign so this equals this number times that's the little asterisk on the 8 this number enter now when I drag Mmm, that didn't work out very well. Why? Let's double click. It says to do the one to the left times the one above. That's not what I want. I want this one all the way over here times this one up here. So let's get rid of these. And I say equals this one times this one. But now I have to do is really think carefully. Is it the C or the four that's always what we're referencing. So this orange cell is in column C. You can see it's one, two, three, four, five is column C. So I actually want to lock down column C but not row four. Whereas opposed to this purple one, the one, two, three, four, five is actually row three, but the D, E, F, G, H, it changes. So I don't want a dollar sign on that. Okay, so now when I get the fill square and I pull to the right, that works. And I pull down, sure enough, 7 times 4 is 28. Excellent. So I'm going to just pull all the way to the right and then down. And now I've got a giant multiplication table.